Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bird Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing guys how to basically work the resolution scale on the RPC S3 emulator and basically fix the problem if your resolution scale is not working at all. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you, if you guys are new to the channel because it really helps out the channel out a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, I need to explain to you guys that resolution scale is at this stage at the RPC S3 emulator as I'm recording this video. It's kind of it's kind of tricky. What I mean by that is that the resolution scale may work for one game like I believe um, Dante's Inferno or Castlevania. One of the Castlevania games, the resolution scale works perfectly fine and you're trying to use the resolution scale for a game that's not at a fully payable um, stage like The Last of Us. It may work, it may not work. And also, it's also depending on your PC build. If you have something that's an old graphics card like a 1020 or 1060 or 1080 below, most of the time the resolution scale on the certain game you're playing it's not gonna work that's just the pure reality of it it's, it's just not gonna work but you have something like a 2080 or 3060 um those latest graphics cards um that are out now as i'm recording this video you may have better luck um resolution scaling certain games that's just the pure reality of it if you want to um get better resolution scaling get a better graphics card that's how it is. All right, so when you go to the configuration tab, you're gonna see through the CPU, but when you're on the GPU tab, you get, this is when the resolution scaling basically starts auto, out off with. And I believe if you wanna get 60 FPS, you gotta mess with the frame limit. You gotta obviously go to 59.93, but it's, like I said, it's game dependent. And then also make sure you're on Vulkan. Don't use OpenGL because since this emulator is so powerful, <laughs> most games on OpenGL will not work. I'm telling you right now, you're going to need you are going to be <laughs> putting your graphics card to the tech, test. So you got to use Vulkan and then pit as I'm recording this video, I have my NVIDIA GTX 1050 as, <laughs> as I'm using this. So make sure you guys are on Vulkan. That's one of the most important things you guys always have to do. Always use Vulkan, no matter what. And then the resolution scaling, I believe in one of the Castlevania games, I believe the very last one that came out for the PS3, um, it can go up to 4K or even 8K. I'm not even joking. So how you basically do that, it tells you what limit um, percent speed that you can play the game on. I believe it's going to tell you 400% is 4K. And then threshold scaling is um, how the game is going to um, come out as. Like, say, for example, you're going to play at 4K, which is 400%, is going to come at 64 times 64. Um, I believe the scaling. And then also. If you're trying to play all the way to 8K, it's gonna be at um 800 um 800%. I don't know too many games I can play at that um speed, and I'm pretty sure if it if certain games can play at that speed, it's going to crash a lot. It's gonna crash a lot because <laughs> certain games on RPC S3 um emulator and the emulation team have to get to that point that that make that scaling of 8K um more sustainable and if you guys are messing around with it and you want to put it back to the old setting you always can reset it and it's going to always reset to the default if you guys don't remember the default settings you can always reset it it really doesn't matter so yeah that's basically how the resolution scaling works on a simple way i can go more in detail about it being more advanced but that's like a different video for another day so that's basically in the simpler terms on how to work the resolution scale on the rpcs3 emulator so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video or 
find this video any helpful at all feel free to like share and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because i'll be making more videos like this in the near future and yeah guys this is your boy Brayson. see you guys in the next video